about a year ago when .NET 5 was released, an idea popped into my head. I love .NET and C Sharp was the first proper programming language that I learned. So there was going to be a special place for it in my heart and I wanted to succeed. My hypothesis is based on this simple assumption. Because we had this fragmentation between .NET Framework and the .NET Core, a lot of old legacy projects were never given the green light to be refactored. And because we've got .NET 5, some of those legacy projects should have been green lighted to be upgraded. Now, on top of that, because .NET can now work on Linux in any environment, I would expect to see an increase in projects that are using .NET. So. I'm expecting to see more jobs being offered that have C Sharp in it. I'm expecting to see more buzz. In general, I want to see things on the up and up. What I would like to try and prove within this video is that since .NET 5 was released, there has been some sort of upward trend in .NET usage overall. Or to answer the question, is it profitable to learn C Sharp in 2023? The first place that I want to try and prove some stuff is the annual Stack Overflow Dev Survey. This survey has been running since 2013, and the best position that C Sharp has ever attained within this list is a fourth position, and that was way back in 2016 with a 30.9% usage. Let's compare this to 2021. C Sharp in this year came in eighth position, and it's fallen slightly in usage to 27.86. Now, this survey was done around the time .NET 5 was released, so my assumption is that the needle should have moved somehow. And in 2022, nothing's really changed. As we can see, C Sharp still coming in at 8th position, and its usage is exactly 27.98. So it's increased 0.12% over the last year. Woo! Woo! Just based on this data alone, I think it's fair to say that .NET 5 and 6 hasn't moved the needle at all in terms of the number of people actively using C Sharp. Next up, I'm going to use data which is published on itjobswatch.co.uk to check that if there's been more jobs advertised for .NET this year compared to last year. And according to the data, .NET came in as a 14th most advertised position. Then over 2021, it's dropped five places, and over 2022, it's dropped another three places to 22nd most popular technology. Now, if we look at permanent jobs being advertised, let's forget 2020 because of COVID and all that nonsense. But what we can see is that in 2021, we had 13,680 jobs, which is 300 jobs more than this year at 13,368. Now, just because there's 300 fewer jobs advertised for .NET, I don't think there's anything to worry about. And that's because if we actually check the number of jobs advertised for JavaScript, which is definitely still a very much trending technology, we can see that there's actually been 2,000 fewer jobs advertised this year compared to last year. So I'm guessing things like recession, global economy, doom and gloom is actually having an impact overall on the number of jobs. Now, things get a little bit more bleaker, if I'm honest, if we just do a search of C Sharp. So C Sharp in 2020 was the 100 most advertised technology. This dropped 70 places in 2021, and we've dropped another 70 places in 2022. Uh -oh. So it's dropped nearly 138 places within two years. And again, you know, we haven't seen any kind of positive uptrend because of .NET 5 or .NET 6. And we can see there's actually 600 fewer jobs with C Sharp in it compared to .NET. The next way I wanted to check data was at the code level. So how many developers are actually checking in projects that had C Sharp in it? Now, if we check 2022 in the third quarter using this epic tool called GitHub, we can see that C Sharp comes in as the 10th most popular language and it's had a slight increase. Now, if we compare this to the second quarter, we can see again a fraction of an increase. And if we compare this to the first quarter, we can see that it's had a bit of a negative increase there. So it hasn't really changed too much this year. Now, if we compare this to 2021, we can see that C Sharp has actually dropped a position where it used to be more popular than C. However, in 2022, C has now become more popular than C Sharp. There's also another tool we can use to check how popular C Sharp is at the code level. And this is Tweeby, TB, 
I can never say these things, the software control company. And they've got this historical graph of how C Sharp has performed over the last 10 years or so. As we can see, we've got 2000 and 2022 around here. And we've saw a slight increase at the beginning of kind of Q1, Q2, according to them. However, this has completely dropped back to where it is. So since .NET 5 has come out, we haven't seen any increase or decrease according to Tweeby. So I guess the next question of if .NET is profitable to learn in 2023 is where it's used. So is .NET being used in areas that you care about? If you would like to build your career out building apps on the blockchain, then is C Sharp worth learning? Now, based on the top kind of programming language articles I've found online, let's have a look. Now, from this article, we can see that in the top five languages, we've got Solidity, Java, Python, C++, Ruby. We didn't have C Sharp here. In the next article, we can see that number one is Solidity. We've got Java, Python. C Sharp actually makes the list, but it's in number seven. Now, in the next article, we can see that we've got top five. No C Sharp mentioned here. Next, we have the top 10 and C Sharp is in seventh position down here. And in this one, top 10 languages, C Sharp comes in at nine. So I think the simple fact is that if you're interested in blockchain, something like Solidity, Python, C++, JavaScript, it's probably going to be a better choice over C Sharp. However, if you want to get into like Neo, then maybe C Sharp is an option for you. If you want to become a web developer, where does C Sharp fit into that picture? Well, according to this article, there are 11 better options for you if you want to become a web developer with obviously HTML, CSS, JavaScript and TypeScript coming in before it. If we look at the next article, top five languages, C Sharp doesn't make it. And as you'd expect, you know, the TypeScript's JavaScript first. In another article, we can see that C Sharp comes in at fourth position. So best positioning so far in the next article, C Sharp doesn't even make the list. The final stack that we're going to look at is the mobile app stack. Now, I'm not going to go through loads of different websites because I think it'd be obvious to anyone with experience, C Sharp is not going to make the list. Now, obviously, the most popular mobile apps are either iOS or Android. So this means that like this list here, most of the popular programming languages for mobile apps are going to be things like Kotlin. They're going to be Java, C++, Objective-C, Swift. So this leads me to a very awkward position. Now, my intention when I started creating this video was to promote C Sharp a little bit. Now, I really thought that since .NET 5, .NET 6, we were going to see some sort of spike in C Sharp and I could say some positive things about it. However, despite all my research and i spent a long time looking at this i can't find any data any blog posts anything which can actually back up that it's worth learning c sharp so to answer the question should you learn c sharp and is it profitable the guaranteed answer is yes 100 percent definitely now the reason why i say this is that if we look in the last six months in the uk alone there's been twelve thousand jobs advertised so if you learn C Sharp, you're pretty much going to find a job. Now, based on the UK data, the average salary is 35,000. The average salary for a C Sharp developer is 60,000. So basically, you're going to be paid twice the amount as a normal wage in the UK. And I'm guessing that this data will be exactly the same for the country that you live in. Now, where things go downhill a little bit is that if you're going to be a developer anyway, is C Sharp the best language to maximize how much you get paid. And this is where the answer isn't as positive. So as we've seen, if you want to learn blockchain, if you want to learn mobile, if you want to get into web, C Sharp isn't the best language. Now, if we look at all the trends, JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, you'll typically see a lot more jobs being advertised for those languages and those roles will be paying slightly more. In the UK, Python pays on average £70,000 a year. C Sharp pays £60,000. TypeScript also pays about £70,000. C Sharp, £60,000. So where does this leave us? Well, as a C Sharp developer of over 20 years, it definitely makes me a little bit more sad to say this. However, when we compare, you know, the annual salary for TypeScript and Python, when we look at the number of opportunities being advertised, it's definitely harder to recommend .NET in 2023 compared to some of the other alternatives. 
Now, if you have enjoyed this video, and it does take me a long time to research them, there are two things, two things, my friend, that you could do, which will put a massive smile on this face. And the first one of those is smashing on the subscribe button so you don't lose my content. I release a new video every Sunday on things like this, C Sharp, JavaScript, web development. So you don't want to miss out on that because that would make you a numpty. Now, the other thing you can do is like this video. Liking basically helps me with the magic YouTube algorithm. So it helps me get my videos shown to more people. It takes me a long time to research all these videos. So if you have appreciated it slightly and you want to support me, do that. Now, aside from that, I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in this world. And until next Sunday, happy coding.